Hi, my name is Lan Ray. I'm a singer-songwriter from London. My musical journey, I would say, started when I was eight years old. I was in primary school and my school teacher put us through a competition at the local radio station. And she gave us a song to sing in the class. And while we were rehearsing the song, I really got caught up in the whole process. I had my eyes closed, I was into it singing, and did not realize that she'd told the rest of the class to, to um, keep quiet because she wanted to know where this voice was coming from. And she walked up to me and she said, you sound like an angel, you're gonna be a great singer one day. I've always sung in choirs and in churches, um, but, and I am part of the Gospel Collective, GK Real. But when GK Real decided to go on an extended break, I started to take guitar lessons, and because I needed a, a tool to help me in expressing the stories that I've always told. So I've always written poems and little short stories here and there. After a few months of um, performing at different open mic venues in London and seeing how people react to the song and the response from people and the feedback from people, I um, put together a few of those songs and approached Buzz I Am, who is an amazing producer, and with the idea of putting these songs together, these songs that are my story, the story of other people, um, with the words and the music written, I approached him and I wanted to do a project, and the project is Pen Voyage Chapter One, Singing for Change. You are my inspiration. Inspiration, wow, that song um, came out of an experience that I had with trying to write a song and I took my note and my pen, my pen and my pad, I went into the park and I was like, today I'm going to write a song and I just couldn't write anything. And I got, that got me thinking about, isn't it strange how, as a creative person, sometimes you're seeking for inspiration and it doesn't come. And then at other times you're not looking for inspiration. It, it seems like it comes chasing after you. And that became the song because the first part of it is talking about that experience that you have looking for it and searching for it and wanting and longing it. And the second part talks about when you're least expecting inspiration to come and it comes chasing after you. And I end the song on that happy note where yourself and inspiration, you're now one, your inspiration and inspiration is yours and you're happy and at that place where you're satisfied as a creative person. One of the people that really inspire me is my dad. And two years ago, I lost my dad, He, which was very sudden. And I think for a lot of people, death affects us in different ways. Some people, I don't know how it affects people, but it does affect us in different ways. That is how I feel. And for me, this has affected me in a way that I... I'm ready to take risks and not afraid because, like I said, it was so short, it was so sudden that I feel like life is so short, you can't take, you can't be wasting time and thinking, overthinking yourself and overthinking things and second guessing yourself. And this is a song I've written for my dad. It's, yeah, called Good Night. And that's because I truly believe that we, there's nothing like, even though people die, we don't die. It's not the end. Because for me, it, it just can't be the end. Like, there has to be, a, there's a life after this. For some people, it might be, oh, that's rubbish. But it just cannot be the end. And, and that's why I called it good night. I've never been able to say goodbye, but it's good night because one day, it's just a breath away we're going to meet again. 62 years, you were gone. I see you. Seeing you 
for a while The night I won't be seeing you for a while With this project I wanted to work with um, a variety of musicians and I wanted as much as possible to be able to capture the live um, um, live instruments and so on most of the songs apart from me I played the guitar on all the songs but we have um, Femi Temowo who's an amazing guitarist amazing musician playing the guitars on the song um, I've got Troy Miller who is a, an amazing drummer he played the drums and on percussions was um, Pedro Segundo or Segundo who is an amazing, amazing percussionist, very creative. I'd like to really inspire people. I want my story and the stories that I tell, the stories of others to, that I tell, to inspire people. I, I really want people to connect with the songs. I want people to leave knowing that they can do anything they set their hearts to do. It's never too late to pick up an instrument and play or learn something new. Because for me, this whole solo project is a new experience and I've had the time of my life and I'd like people to go or leave or finish listening to the, the, the album or leave a live performance inspired and wanting to go for it and not be afraid. Hi, my name is Goz I am, a producer, composer and musician and we're just here in the studio uh, recording the percussions for Lanway's album, Pen Voyage, Chapter One, uh, Singing for Change. Yeah, of course, uh, just recording uh, uh, Mr. Se Pedro Segundo uh, on percussions, and we're exploring different sounds just to, to give the, the, the album the, the, feel, the, the feel of the roots, you know, back from where we're from in Nigeria and Africa in general. Um, and it's been an interesting time with him. He's played so many different instruments and we've gotten so many different sounds. So really looking forward to the, to the end of the product, really. It should, it should be really fun and really loads of sounds, rich cultural things, you know. Um, so I encourage you, buy the album and check these sounds out for yourselves. Trust me, you were blown away. It's not sequenced, it's not electronic. This is real stuff, man. All right. Hi there, um, I'm Pedro Segundo, I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. Um, I was asked to come do a three, three tunes um, for Lanry. Um, she's a singer, songwriter, which is uh, releasing our album this August 2011. And um, we had great fun just now, and uh, we're recording three, um, as I said, three tunes, and they, they are very deep, and the, um, the message is quite interesting and I try to explore all all these different sounds of percussion which is a so rich uh, family of instruments so I can start with the calabash which I used one of the tunes which brings a lot of depthness to the music such as a caron for example which is not traditionally African but Steel is a percussion instrument and it's very specific sound. I went to a classic drum as well, so melodic, like replicating, replicating a bit of the bata drums and they can be, as you just heard, so talkative, they can talk and they can speak and sing. And also, of course, I use the traditional shaker, or as Lanry told, is the man's bag. You can just, just carry like this, <laughs> and um, it's great. Something like that is amazing. And um, finishing with 
maybe a conga, compact conga, which is amazing. It's an instrument that mixes the sound of conga and tabla and just sounds amazing. So what you need to do now is just look out for the recording Lanry, August 2011. And we are pretty much looking forward to it and hope you guys get a chance to buy a record, which will be available online pretty soon. Ciao, ciao, bye now. Don't wanna live without you another day. I remember you were there. I remember you told me something, someone walked out. I wasn't sure it was Ayo or you. You were there? Me? Mm. I was there. <laughs> talk to me. I yeah, talked to her. I don't want to be recorded. I'm not in the right Tell us, tell us what's happening. Well, I'm, well, apparently I'm not emotionally connected to this song. Apparently I'm not singing properly. I'm doing all my best to sing. And I'm connecting, but I'm not connecting. Okay, what it is is this, right? Most of these songs are quite emotional. They're emotional stories. So the challenge is to actually bring the emotion of what I've written down and bring it in here. Because it's easier when I'm playing live. Yeah, you get only one chance. Exactly. And, and people, then, you yeah. know, your look, you know, all this. And when you're, record, when you're being recorded, and there's no it's audience, a whole it's different a story because people are going to listen to you forever and ever. And I mean, the aim for this album is to sell to millions. And we don't want millions of people listening to emotionally disconnected songs. Well, see. I don't think I'm emotionally disconnected. It's just that there's no connection. But I'm not disconnected. Um, I don't understand. No <laughs> connection. <laughs> I'm not disconnected. I don't understand. What English school did you go to? <laughs> if you're not connected, you're disconnected. Well, if you don't connect the phone line to the software, <laughs> you're disconnected. I am connected, <laughs> uh -huh. but not disconnected. People, yeah. Hmm. Listen, anyway, <laughs> this is the real thing. Now, when you hear the album, you start hearing connection. You know why? We beat it out of her. What?